looks like Baxter's not doing his job. Come on Baxter, start hunting those moles. He's letting his guard slip. I'm going to have to have a word with that dog. Baxter, come here. What's this? It's a mole. You chase moles. You got bored of it. Some mole hunter you turned out to be. We are Susie and Rolls. That's short for Roland, by the way. Enchanté. Follow our lives renovating a 15th century chateau and citadel. Together with our rescue fur babies, Big Baxter, Mad Max and little Lexi our beaver. I thought you'd like to have another look at the bearded irises. Um, there's quite a few come out, but there's a lot in the middle still to come out. And we didn't know these were here last year. They suddenly sprung up. So it was a nice surprise to see what color they were. Um, another little update on the bearded irises. We've got, I know we've got yellow there, back to the boat, broke one off. But we've also got these lovely burgundy colour ones come up overnight. And also there's, this looks like a yellow, well, I don't know, it might be the same colour, yellow and purple. We'll see, it probably come out tomorrow. Here's the other yellow one. And hopefully that doesn't get snapped off by somebody. Um, I got, I've moved these cauldrons, of all rolls moved them for me, over here from under the tree, because <coughs> it was too shaded under there and they weren't getting enough water. So I've, I don't want to make holes in the bottom of it, so I've put these in pots and they will, as they grow, they'll go over the edges so you won't see the pots. Got busy lizzies and petunias, I'm not sure what this one is and I've done another little cauldron over here and this has just got busy lizzies and petunias in so I'm trying to make a sort of little cluster of pots um, our little kumquat tree it shed a lot of leaves here. It's got new ones coming up. But um, it was shoved in the corner and I don't think it got enough water. So apparently if they don't get enough water, they shed their leaves. Got a couple of kumquats on there. And for our lemon tree, actually this bit's gone a bit yellowy for some reason. Um, I've got probably about eight lemons on there. I don't know if you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight or nine. And we've got a lime tree here, but no limes at the moment. Well, our strawberries have survived over winter. Charlotte's strawberries. So we've got our thyme here, which has flowered. And the flowers are quite lemony. You can make a lemon butter with it, or you can put it in a salad, which is quite nice. So this planter, I put these plants in last year. Um, I don't know what they are, but it was a selection box of different plants. This looks like another time actually. Mm. Or oh, it could be lemon balm, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look. Still no cows. Grass is getting long. Apparently the farm's been sold. Um, we think there should be new owners there in July. Um, so we're hoping they get some new cows. 
new cows or moo cows. Here's our valerian, which the hummingbird moths like. Um, you'll have seen that in an earlier episode that we did. And there were two out here the other day. And um, we've got loads of this everywhere. This, I cut back all the dead stuff early in the spring and it grows out the wall, which is really nice. There's another pink one there, or red one. And we've got red and white up here. Um, yeah, so we've got a mixture of red and white here. Quite a lot growing. Uh, to give it a strim around the outside here. Um, an update on our fruit trees that we planted. Uh, we've got a little pear tree here. It might be a conference pear, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Um, we've got an autumn red apple tree here that had quite a lot of blossom on. Some of it will fall off, but that's doing well. We've got a yellow peach here and a red peach. This one's got leaf curl, um, so I'm going to have to treat that with something. It's a shame because that was doing really well. And yeah, this has got leaf curl as well. That's a shame. cherry here and a red cherry. Um, we did have an apricot here. I love apricots but it died and we planted I think it's a plum tree. I'm not sure. That seems to be doing okay. And then in the back garden we found this wild cherry tree growing. Apparently it has bigger cherries and they're softer and sweeter. So it seemed planted it last you know a couple of weeks ago. I think it needs a bit more water. So we've got a Mirabelle plum tree here. It's a little plum there. There's one here but something's eaten up there. Don't know if you can see that. And we've got a red apple tree here. And again this has got leaf curls. That's a shame. It had one nice red apple on it last year. Quite a lot of um, fruits on here. So the reason we planted the fruit trees along the border there is to cover the ugly building at the back here and some of the other buildings. So we'll give it a couple of years and they should be quite tall by then. They've already grown quite a lot actually. I uh, just wanted to show you Grandma Sharon what we've bought with the buy me a coffee money that you gave us, kindly gave us. Um, and we're going to gold leaf these details on the mirror, probably the bits down, going down. Um, also, the ceiling rose. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing that done. It's really ornate. So thank you to Grandma Sharon we bought a gold leaf kit for gilding the mirror and the ceiling rose. And I'd like to say thank you to Charlotte as well. We bought some paint to do the ceiling, which I won't be climbing up a ladder for. Right, we've been waiting two weeks for this replacement, well two and a half weeks actually, replacement um, drive belt for our ride-on mower and the reason we've had to replace it is because this one decided to shred itself. Anyway, right so hopefully 
It won't be too complicated. Having never done it before, let's have a look. How difficult can it be? Famous last word. Uh, come on. Uh. Okay, need the socket set. <laughs> I do it. Hooray! Hallelujah! Here we go, hooray! Alright, let's just double check all that. to strim against the fence there and of course complete the fence but yep first cut so I'll do a second cut probably tomorrow I didn't want to go too far with the first cut it's grown quite a long way so yeah 
back to where it should be. Rose is doing a second cup on the grass today because it was too wet yesterday to take it too short. So it's looking good. Well, here we are everybody in the car. It's Friday, but I'm not on my own as you can see. And we're not going to Poitiers. So, where are we going, love? Evo. Evo. Evo or Evo? Arvo? Evo. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to Evo, which is a village not too far from us. Uh, we've had to drive through it once or twice to get to Poitiers, and it looks like a lovely quintessential picturesque French village. So we thought we'd have a little wander around there. Don't it's... get carried away and drive to Poitiers then. I'm not going to Poitiers, do you not worry. I shall turn. Good. <laughs> it's my week off. Your week off Poitiers. Are you fed up with Poitiers? Mm. I don't blame you. Well, right. I never actually see Poitiers. No. I only see the hospital. <laughs> right, well we shall see you when we get there. Bastille Day. It's amazing really when you think about the power of the Catholic Church. This is not a big city, it's not even a big town. And yet the church, cathedral, whatever it is, it's, it's absolutely huge. Anything you wish to confess to, love? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Well, it'd be rude not to stop off for a spot of lunch. And a little beer. A nice lady mentioned um, 
our horse chestnut tree that was in the background um, in one of our videos and it is absolutely magnificent let me see if I can get far enough back this is in our courtyard beautiful it is and it provides a lot of welcome shade in the really hot summer days it's beautiful these flowers the blossom commonly known as Roman candles So before we wrap this one up uh, for this week, we wanted to say a big hello and a thank you to Mishy, Charlotte and Tony, who've all become patrons this week. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your support. It's wonderful. And thank you to everybody who bought us a coffee last week. Um, it's wonderful. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, but that's it. That's it for another episode, I'm afraid. We'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday. So, bye. Bye. Chantez.